Here's another Disney Room project. Probably my all-time favorite uh, one just from the fun of making it, not knowing what I'm doing and kind of stumbling my way through it and it, I think it turned out pretty nice. We had gotten this picture down at Disney World and decided, you know, to put it in this or construct a frame for it. So the frame is just made out of pine. On top of that I glued the foam that I've talked about in the other videos, it's just three quarter inch thick foam. It comes in four by eight sheets at the hardware store. Four foot by eight foot sheets, so pretty big. You can cut them in half if you kind of cram it in your car or whatever. Uh, just break it in half in the store and then you can get it where you gotta go. It'll last you forever because obviously it's a big hunk of, big hunk of stuff. So you can see the thickness of it here from the side. It's pretty thick. So it's got the pine frame back there, then the foam is glued to that. Then on top of that, I glued, I cut the foam in small or slivers on the table saw and then cut out blocks out of those. You can see all the little blocks here. And glued those on. And obviously carved in these gouges and cracks in the bricks. To make it look a little more realistic. Once the bricks were all glued on, um, I took plaster, real thin plaster, and painted over the whole thing. And the plaster went down and settled into these, uh, it, the spaces between the bricks, which gives it, makes it kind of look like the mortar between the bricks. Once that was done, painted the whole thing dark gray, and then went back over it with a dry brush technique, several layers of that. So there's like light blues some light grays, even a white towards the end to uh, you know get the different colors in the bricks. Went back after that and blotted some browns and blacks on a paper towel and you can kind of see it really well here in this corner brick. See there's kind of some brown in there, some black. Real thin, blot it with a paper towel, let that dry a little bit and then wipe off the excess. And then for the final touch really super thin black paint spray the whole thing again and wipe off everything but in the in the places where the paint is able to collect down in the where the mortar is I guess and I guess you have to picture this laying flat on a table uh, but everything collects down in those grooves and then it highlights the the mortared air, areas real nicely with black paint this plaque I just found on eBay it just it was a resin sign I painted it gold and then did a dry brush or attempted to do kind of a dry brush over top of it of a green to make it kind of look like it's patinaed like it's an old copper or brass plate and you can't I don't know if you can see them or not but there's a couple cobwebs on here and I've I told my wife she cannot dust this because I think it you know it'd be even cooler if it had uh, authentic cobwebs on it so I don't know it's been hanging here maybe nine months to a year now and it only has these two cobwebs that I can see right off so I think she's sneaking around cleaning without me knowing she's tricky that way anyway there you go there's the haunted mansion frame